Ever pondered upon the speed at which our Earth spins? It's a thought that might have crossed your mind, perhaps while gazing at the night sky or watching a sunset. As we go about our daily lives, it's easy to forget that we're on a planet that's constantly in motion, spinning on its axis in the vastness of space. A fascinating reality, isn't it? Now hold on to your seats as we delve into the fascinating world of our rotating Earth. Imagine a line passing through the North and South Poles. That's Earth's axis. Now, if you're wondering what this imaginary line has to do with anything, let me assure you it's pretty crucial. This axis is like the invisible spindle around which our planet performs a graceful pirouette, a dance we know as rotation. But why does Earth rotate, you ask? Well, it's a momentum story that dates back about four and a half billion years when our solar system was just a swirling cloud of gas and dust. As this cloud contracted under gravity, it began to spin, and voila! Earth started its never-ending twirl. So, what's the big deal about this dance move? It's the reason we have day and night. As Earth spins, different parts of it come into the sun's view, bathing in its light. When that part moves out of view, it experiences night. So, as Earth spins on its axis, different parts get to bask in the sun's light, creating the cycle of day and night. Interesting, isn't it? Isn't... Now, how fast does this spinning happen? Brace yourselves. Our planet Earth is like a relentless top, spinning on an imaginary line called the axis. The speed of this rotation is rather mind-boggling. At the equator, the Earth spins at a blistering pace of roughly 1,670 kilometers per hour. That's over a thousand miles per hour. So while you're enjoying a tranquil sunset or a calm day at the beach, in reality, you're whizzing around in space faster than the world's fastest car. But wait, there's more. This speed is not uniform across the entire planet. As we move away from the equator towards the poles, the speed of rotation decreases. Imagine a spinning top, the top and bottom of it, or in our case, the north and south poles, don't spin as fast as the center. So if you're at the north or south pole, your speed from Earth's rotation is virtually zero. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? Even when we're sitting still, we're all constantly moving at incredible speeds, carried along by the ceaseless rotation of our planet. So even if you're sitting still, you're moving at an amazing speed thanks to Earth's rotation. Ever looked up at the night sky and marveled at the stars? It's a sight that can leave you breathless, isn't it? As you gaze up at the twinkling expanse, you're part of a fantastic cosmic dance, spinning and hurtling through space on our Earth, our home, rotating on its axis. You see, our everyday experiences are deeply intertwined with this rotation. It's not just about day turning into night and back into day again. It affects everything from the winds that rustle the leaves on trees to the currents that swirl in our vast oceans. Our Earth's rotation even shapes the very weather patterns that dictate whether we'll need an umbrella or sunscreen when we step outside. Imagine for a moment you're standing on a playground roundabout. As it spins, you feel a force pushing you outwards, right? This is called centrifugal force. Now imagine that on a much larger scale. Our Earth is like a giant roundabout spinning on its axis. This spinning creates a centrifugal force which is responsible for our planet's slight bulging at the equator. Intriguing, isn't it? And how about the Coriolis effect? Ever heard of it? It's another fascinating phenomenon resulting from Earth's rotation. This effect causes moving air and water to turn right in the northern hemisphere and turn left in the southern hemisphere influencing our weather systems and ocean currents. You see, the rotation of the Earth isn't just some abstract, distant concept. Its effects ripple through our daily lives, often in ways we might not even realize. It's a testament to the extraordinary, intricate dance of celestial bodies, a dance we're all part of. Next time you gaze at the stars, remember you're also spinning through space on our fantastic, rotating planet. That's our Earth for you.